For practice it, exercise 3.23 print index, we need to write a method called print index that accepts a string right here as its parameter and prints the strings characters in order followed by their indexes in reverse order. And we're giving an example here. So we're going to need a for loop to do this. And we are going to get each of these characters. And then we also need to get the indexes. So first we are going to start out with a and we're going to set that equal to we can there's two ways we can do this. We can either start by looking at the characters or we can do the numbers. I'll do the numbers here. So we're going to do length or we need to do string dot length. And this is going to be minus one because the index the indexes is one minus the length. And we're going to run this as long as a is greater than zero. And we'll do a minus minus. So in here we'll have a system dot out dot print and then we are just going to have our well we need our letters first so now we look at our characters and we'll have string dot get char at and this will give us the char at a certain index however we can't do this or else it would print the string or the characters in backwards so what we can do is make a temporary variable we can call it temp and we'll set this equal to zero and we can um, have temp in here. So our first index is zero and then every time this loop runs we're going to increment this So we'll have temp plus plus Since that's taken care of now we can print out our Indexes and we can just do string Or not string we can actually just print out the number so we can just print out a And we also need to make sure we initialize our inner for loop and this should not be get char at, this is just char at, there's no get char. So should be char at, and that is a lowercase. Um, we can see that actually it puts these on a separate line, or it, it just adds all of the numbers together. And this is because it's thinking that this is a plus and not um, appending these two strings together. So what we can do is take this out. And if we remove this, we can do a system.out.print. So it'll still be on the same line since it's not on a new line. And just have A in here like this. And we need to run this as long as A is actually less than or equal to zero. Because it needs to run the full length of the code. And we have passed the test. 